Bowl. All right, uh, here's your allergy report for today and tomorrow. Medium symptoms both days for birch, high for oak and tree pollen in general. And again, the uh, silver lining of some rainfall, which is in the forecast, kind of ramping up a little bit later this week. That tends to knock some of that pollen out of the air, which is good news for allergy sufferers. No rain today, though. Lots of sunshine and blue sky. And boy, look at how the trees are really starting to leaf out. Things really greening up nicely now. 80 degrees the high, 54 the low. So 10 degrees above that average high of 70, 90, and 27. The records for today, 80 degrees at the airport and downtown here at the station. Winds out of the south southeast at 5 to 10 and the Mississippi uh, continues to fall 11.28 feet. The Chippewa River is falling as well. 77 and sunshine for you folks in Eau Claire. So again, just a beautiful evening for outdoor plans, whether it's a high school sporting event or uh, if you just want to take a walk or maybe a picnic in the park. Good ingredients for all of those things going on this evening. Temperatures quite nice in the central parts of the nation. 70s to lower 80s. We're still right at 80 degrees in Black River Falls, Sparta and La Crosse. Same with Boscobel. 78 in Baroqua, 77 in Winona and 76 in Decorah. Winds generally from the southeast at around 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles per hour in some of the open areas over towards Rochester, Minnesota. So just some high clouds up to the north. And also to the west, a little weak disturbance here, and that's the one that's going to try to creep into the area overnight and into tomorrow morning. But as it does, like we've seen the past several days, that activity will kind of weaken, but a very small chance a shower could survive into our area tomorrow morning. Sky Tracker shows that clouds kind of increase and uh, the rain going pretty good uh, over towards the Interstate 35. But watch as it gets closer, it just kind of fades out as we head towards lunchtime tomorrow. So again, I can't fully rule out isolated showers and especially our west Western communities in the morning, but most of us look to stay dry with kind of a mix of clouds and sun. And then rain chances do increase from the south as we head into Friday and kind of hit and miss fashion, maybe an isolated thunderstorm as well. Temperatures for tomorrow still warm, upper 70s to lower 80s, right around 80 degrees in the cross. A lot of this will hinge on how much sunshine you see. So uh, either way, though, temperatures look to be above average, well into the 70s. And again, if you see enough sunshine, highs right around 80 degrees, maybe a little cooler up towards Bloomer and Ladysmith right around 74 or 75 degrees. So for tonight, partly cloudy and mild, 56 for the low. Tomorrow, that small chance for a shower in the morning, especially to the west and northwest. Otherwise, a mix of clouds and sun. Uh, highs around 80 degrees. A little bit better chance for some scattered showers. Isolated thunder on Friday and Saturday. Still a chance of rain showers for mom on Monday as well. And that looks to be the coolest day. Upper 60s, otherwise 70s through the weekend. And then heading into next week, mainly dry Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Small chance of rain Thursday with highs generally between about 70 and 75 degrees. So overall for the eight day forecast, not too bad, especially in the temperature department. Absolutely. All right, Bill. Thanks very All much. Right.